I want to thank mm -hmm. my family, Mr. Monk, Desi. I want to thank our families, my family, and Minister Monk's family. And I want to thank all my family. And I just want to give you a small word, but just a, a, just a short. I'm not preaching tonight. I just want to tell you something. And what I wanted to talk about, what the Lord put in my spirit was just, I wanted to talk about Godfathers. Because I, I feel very special because my father passed away when I was 32. But I had my Godfather for nearly 60 years. And, Who are you talking about, Bill and, and I'm not going to call him out. <laughs> I'm not going to call him out. But also at the same time, it was a one-two punch because my godfather, he didn't preach God, he showed God. And everything we did, I, I just got to tell you, because some of you guys, you know how successful he is. Everything he did, he thanked God in front of me, in front of my, my God okay, sisters, in front of my God brothers. He was always thanking God. And it was not just for good times, but also bad times. Things happen and pe people passed away and he would say, thank it's God. Good. And as a young man, I would look up and say, wow, thank you God. He said, yes, I'm thanking God for that. And my mama, she would, no matter what I was going through or what was happening when I was coming home and crying, right, you know, the heartbroken, all that, my mama used to always say, give it to God, right? I would have, I've got to tell you, I would have my, my little brother, Leon, him and I, we would, we would pretend when we were teenagers, I would pretend like I was doing sermons and we'd tape the sermons. And Leon would say, what is wrong with you? And I, I didn't really know why I was doing the sermons because I thought I was playing around, but I was doing them. And as I was doing them, I was saying, Reverend Kenya, Reverend Kenya, but I never really believed that I was going to become Reverend Kenya. Mm -hmm. I've got to tell you guys, I can tell you stories. Of, we know we can talk about all the bad times, but I can tell you about really good times with how the Lord saved me from COVID. How the Lord saved my godfather when he was in a plane crash and went underwater. Whoa. How one day we lost everything and it was my fault. We were, we went away we, uh, and oh, we were in a it. car and at the back of the car, okay, all the it. luggage fell on the highway and the luggage had everything. It had his, his computers, it had his laptop, it had everything in it. On a, on a highway, we didn't realize it till we were at the hotel that everything was missing. It had everything. And I, I was in the hotel room, I was crying that night. I was just so, it was, it was one of the worst times, one of the worst feelings possible because it was up to me to have locked the door. So it was my fault. And at about two o'clock in the morning, my godfather called me and just said, Kenya, you know what? I may have lost a whole lot. I may have lost my computer and wallet and the money and everything. I mean, but I didn't lose you, right? That's, that's a godfather for you, right? So a godfather these days, people just think it's a term and it's not a terminology, it's a showing. And I'm praying to God that I can be a role model like that. I'm praying to God that Leon, my little brother, would look up to me and, and be proud of me, that my godfather, my god sisters, that everybody would be proud of me, and Kenya and Sean and, and just all my children, that they would look up and say, say, man, I'm proud of my dad. Yeah, I want to hear from the Lord. I want, to, I want Jesus one day to say, well done, my good and faithful servant, but I also want to hear from my kids and my family and my friends. I want to hear from my bishop and my pastor. I want to hear, I want to hear from the minister. <laughs> Hallelujah. So at this point, we're running good on time. But I just want you to, to know, if you could take anything from this, I just want you to take this and Sean's know this. Is that dead. God is real. That God is in charge. Because that we name must name obey the mm -hmm. Lord. And, I'm, and, and we got, I'm going to tell you something. The Lord gives you unbelievable presence and gifts for working his plan. I have the greatest gift in the world. Mm -mm. And I'm going to tell you guys about that a little later on. But right now, I just mm -hmm. want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen. Okay, sir. Oh, okay, he's going.